This video will demonstrate interosseous access with the EZIO device. In a large dog, we typically choose to catheterize the area of the greater tubercle of the humerus, which we've clipped in this demonstration. The bone is palpated, and a decision is made about whether the needle can go perpendicular to the bone in a large dog like this, or if it needs to be aimed more down the long axis of the shaft of the bone in a smaller bone. A stab incision is made at the desired point of insertion. Then the device is armed with the needle and stylet to drill. The bone repalpated. The needle is entered through the skin wound previously made, pushed up against the desired location on the bone, and then the drill is activated rapidly seating the needle. This is confirmed by grasping the needle to make sure it's firmly seated and moves with the bone. The uh, drill stylet is removed and a syringe is used to confirm proper placement by aspiration of bloody bone marrow elements. If the device is to be used for intravenous fluids, a fluid administration set is connected, and a previously purged IV set is then used to administer fluids.